developing right now a possible shark attack. Rare shark attack. A shark fears. In Florida, it's the shark bite capital of the world. The headlines this past year suggest that our encounters with sharks are on the rise. And so we're on a journey to find out what's going on. We've only been here a couple of minutes and already three bull sharks just off the side of the boat. First stop, Florida. Bull sharks have a terrible reputation. They are territorial and with little tolerance for provocation, intentional or otherwise, and so they are responsible for many of the attacks around the world. Our guide's instructions are simple. Remain calm, no sudden moves, and remember, we are not their intended prey. Extraordinary, far from being the, the killers that Hollywood sets them out to be. They're shy, they're majestic, it's, it's re remarkable. These Floridian waters have this past summer been hotter than any other year on record. That is shifting the fish population, and with them, the sharks follow. And of course, with warm water and hot days, more of us are in the sea. From Florida to Nova Scotia, 1,500 miles to the north, this is where the scientists' focus now is. Dr. Neil Hammerschlag is a leading marine ecologist, drawn north from Florida because the waters here too have been remarkably warm. Sky News joined him here in the northern Atlantic on a new research project. We got special permission to go to this location. We've been there now three days. We've seen great whites every day. Over several months, he is attempting to tag the great white sharks and follow their movement. You have a shark, you reach over, place it over his dorsal fin, and then there's a trigger, which then closes and this snaps onto the shark's fin and the shark swims off. And the, the antenna is for every time it comes to the surface, that will send a ping. And, and so you're able over time to be able to, to track its movement. Yep, not only does it give the, the location, but also gives a temperature reading. Dr. Neil has permission here to use bait to draw in the great whites. And his own footage from just a few days in the area is remarkable. Places that were historically too cold for them are, are now becoming like suitable and so they're going to go there. In recent years just the number of sightings have increased. I mean just 15 years ago if you told someone I saw a great white they wouldn't believe you. Now people are, are seeing them all the time, they're spotting them and what's the reason for that? Is it increasing great white shark numbers? Is it increase in prey population? Is it from the drastically changes in ocean warming? Unlike Florida, here, for great whites, you do need a cage. Well, you know, they're absolutely right. I mean, we're in the northern Atlantic, and the water really isn't cold at all. On our day, though, no sharks. Dr. Neil thinks that they've gone deep because of a rare incoming hurricane. And that is because these warmer waters are bringing more of them. What you see here used to be <laughs> have grass on it in a lighthouse just 10 years ago. And now it's barely any land visible. Isn't that wow. mine and that's, blowing? And that's sea level rising fast. Really fast. There is more too. These northern waters are commercial fishing zones. As more sharks are drawn here, more are caught. Already, 100 million sharks are killed every year, a number set to rise. Far from being the danger to us, we are to them. These animals are, are cautious they're not man eaters they don't rush in you know they're very uh, I like to say cool calm and collected when I get to be around any shark but particularly a great white shark something that's just so big and powerful and just watching it cruise so slowly it's inspiring well you know spending a bit of time with Dr. Neil on this boat it's clear yes how passionate he is about this but it's also very clear just how important this work is one scientist one boat, but research that is vital well beyond. In Canada, in Florida and around the world, we are encountering sharks more and more. All this is showing how their habitat is shifting.
The ocean's apex predator keeps the ecosystem balanced and our seas healthy. Now they're showing us how our climate is changing. Mark Stone, Sky News in the Atlantic.